from this hello 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 hi how are you guys hope everybody is safe healthy and strong welcome to my channel this is coco with eva on today's episode or today menu will be some beef and pumpkin with some dry shrimps all right let me show it to you stay tuned so here are the ingredients on this board here this is some um I'm trying to show you everything that I'm having here. This is some dry shrimps. I soak it in some water and vinegar, tomato, scallion, onion, garlic, and this is beef I'm already washed. I'm gonna show you how I season it up. And this is a one pumpkin that I purchased and I cut it up, you know. And I'm giving you step by step rice all right this is 32 ounces of rice two two pints or whatever yeah all right so so let's get started first i'm going to wash this rice and place it into the pot all right and then i'm going to um, season up this chicken in the meanwhile while the rice is cooking and i'm sorry i just said chicken is not chicken i'm beef i'm sorry all right so while the rice is cooking, I'm going to be showing you guys how I season up this beef. Alright, stay tuned. I'm going to wash the rice. I did not measure this water because I am accustomed to cooking this rice like this so I don't measure, I just add it. Um, if you want, you can measure. This is happening with this. This rice will be straining. I don't like dry rice. I don't like dry my rice down. I strain my rice. So this is one of the reasons that I go down. Store this rice here, and then I'm gonna cover the pot and let it dry. I don't add any oil, no salt, into my rice. All right. The East and so let me start with the region with no winter season up this beef. This is some ginger powder, optional, as I always mention. And I'm not average, I'm not um, measuring this ginger powder. Now it depends on how much you wanted to use. With All right. This is some um, cayenne is pepper powder or whatever. The, the, the yeah, cayenne pepper. Your message, the right. Um, this is some mixed masala. Try this. Mixed masala is make your pumpkin. Tastes so delicious. Try it. New York City public schools when classes resume this fall. School Chancellor Richard Carranza sent a letter via right. email to school administrators detailing eight Stay protocols tuned. being considered for the planned break. But yet he came to start. City Parks Department security walked along the shoreline today, making sure like no one went in beyond the banana peat bed. Mayor De Blasio had closed the beaches to swimming. Whenever you see enough your meat. It depends on how much meat you're cooking, and you must be able to average the amount of salt that you put into your food. All right. I'm going to set this aside in the meanwhile the rice is cooking for a little while because I season up this chicken, I mean this beef, oh my gosh, I seasoned up this beef before but I just show you guys how I now I to add a little for us so that I could able to demonstrate more on to how I do normally season up my beef, that's the reason why I did but the full amount. All right, so I'm going to set it aside for two minutes and then I'm going to start the process. Of, now this beef have to boil. I'm going to fry it a little and then put a little water and let it boil up because I want it to be a little soft. I don't want it to be too thick. And then 
This is some vinegar water. I have it in this dried shrimp. So I bring this from Guyana. I'm going to strain this off. I just left it in there because remember, this normally have salt in it. Dried shrimps normally have salt. For those who don't know, and um, you have to wash this out because the way how they dry this, I know how they dry this. All right, I'm from the countryside. They either dry it on the ground or on the same time. This have a lot of sun in it, if you don't know. So you have to wash it out properly before you cook it. All right, so stay tuned. So I'm going to add a little oil into this pantry. And let it get hot. In home aid, home delivered meals home delivered prescriptions and so much more but you don't get all the benefits automatically okay. you need to enroll the easiest way to enroll is to call the medicare coverage Next step in helping the black lives matter movement so i'm going to start by frying up this And guys, I must let you know I have a playlist on YouTube that you guys could go and listen to. That I love Oli's and Soul. So those are the kind of music and a little reggae. Not much, but if you guys interested, you can go on YouTube, event playlist, and you can listen to any music of your choice. Um, right? Um, yes. And I was saying, for those new um, subscribers, welcome. For all of love and support. I uh, do hope you enjoy my views, my videos, I'm sorry. And um, I would like for you to look forward for more videos, you know. As we all know, no, none of us is perfect, all right? I'm not, none of us are. Thanks for your patience. And please subscribe to my channel, please share my videos like and subscribe and share and please leave a positive comment no negative comment all right thanks to you don't go nowhere wait till the end of this video i would like for you guys to watch out my videos and i think that you guys don't give me that kind of a support that i need i'm not begging for any donation and I beg you for anything. All I'm begging you guys to do is to look out the video. And if you skip, it's like a waste of time. You guys like my glasses? Tell me if you like them. Just been kidding, okay? Stay tuned anyhow. The pot that I'm cooking this rice in is a egg. Pot, pot. When I start before I uh, wash the rice, it was four quarts of water that I put into this pot. But because I want my rice to be loosey and nice, I normally fill the pot up with water so that this rice could be able to get space to boil. All right. So I normally like fill the pot with water. For me, it was able to get loosey and nice while it's boiling. When ready to strain, I would add cold water into it, not hot water, cold water. 
and that now will let your eyes, you know, real loose and nice, crumbly then. Right? So, remember, if you're cooking in a in an eight quarts pot, you can fill that pot with water. Especially, this can hold more than two pints of rice in here. So, I'm ta I'm talking about two pints of rice. All right. So, two pints of rice, and you put eight quarts of this water into this pot so that the rice can give it to boil, giving it space so it could bubble up. And then make sure you feel the grain. And I'm gonna show you guys as you go. Alright, I'm going to show you guys when the rice almost comes to an end, but it's supposed to look like. It's only for those who don't know how, how you cook Lucy rice then. Not for everybody. For those who are interested in learning also. I'm going to add some more some cold water. And then I'm going to let the cold water run on it. More places with crowds indoors, like the can't hold it. This so, as I said to you guys, this is all you just know when the rice is done because it's all grain inside. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to strain this rice now. And then we're going to we'll come back. So, so when the rice finished straining, far too often we have white officers and black victims. It permeates and goes back to the history of American policing where race is inextricably linked to that. Do you think there are racist cops on the force? I believe that there probably are. CBS News has learned that prosecutors tried to reach a plea deal with Terry Chauvin before initially charging him with third degree murder. Arredondo said he refuses to even say Chauvin's name. Why is that? Because I don't want to bring any sort of credibility or legitimacy to um, to that. The day protests calling for justice around the country continue. One day after Floyd was buried, disturbing video has surfaced showing a group of white. Okay, guys, look at it. I'm going to put it back on the fire. Just low fire. Low fire and let it steam. So whatever little excess water is in here, it's going to steam out. All right. So I'm going to pull it over to the opposite side, and then I'm going to start the process with the pumpkin. So stay tuned, right? Now I'm cooking some uh, the, um, beef, get soft. So I'm going to, this is some curry. Because the pumpkin is too white, I'm going to add some curry into this beef to give the curry a little give the pumpkin a little color i'm sorry again must make me sick Add some more oil into this in order to crab this curry anyhow. And just a little bit of curry. I mean oil. So I add to add some more oil. Like Robert E. Lee should still be studied, the judge says, but not on. David Mark the CBS News. This is shrimps. Tonight we're gonna be into a painful discussion that's been taking place in the And then I'm gonna add it to tomato. The garlic, onion, I'm going to add the Italian a little later, not now. Alright. I'm going to add the pumpkin now. 
And I'm gonna let it fry for a little while. Then I'm gonna add the ingredients, um, spices. This is some mixed masala or adding it to it. This is optional, you don't have to, alright? But I just want to use the masala into this pound cake. I'm gonna add some sugar. That sugar does make it taste even more sweet pumpkin. Got this some pumpkin, sweet and some though. This little like if it's not gonna be sweet. And I want to put some sugar into this. You know, not a whole set. Maybe about half of a tablespoon. Sugar. No, I'm not gonna add no salt because when I season up the beef, I put salt in there and to me still haven't enough salt. So I'm gonna cover this down and let it do a thing and I will be back. Mm -hmm. Here's in it. Sweetness in this. So, cover this girl down. Stay tuned. Guys, if you hear any noise in the background, I'm sorry. I normally listen to my news while I'm cooking in the form of entertaining myself. Sometimes I don't even remember that I have on the TV because I'm busy in the kitchen. Not until when I listen, listen it back. But some people complain. Anyhow, this pumpkin here, it's already cooked, but it's not mashed. And if you want a mashed pumpkin, some people would leave it just like this, but I like to mash it. Again, it's optional, all right? This is a dry pumpkin. It's another pumpkin. We got a whole set of liquid. So I'm going to taste it again. Mm -hmm. This is it for me. Tasty. And there is, um, if at by any chance the was a, a viewer I don't know if it's a viewer <coughs> or a subscriber she was saying something that um about the pumpkin that I pumpkin stew that I had before and she's saying that I didn't have enough ingredients or I didn't explain it more better for her or something like that now this is basic because every time that I making any or cooking I normally explain myself more I don't understand if what I'm saying, maybe, maybe the way I speak, I don't know. But um, again, I'm gonna put all the listing of everything that I use on this pumpkin in the description bar below, all right? The pumpkin that I buy, the beef, the shrimp, probably and everything that I use, I'm gonna put it on this, on the description bar below so that you guys can see, all right? So this comes to the end. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And I must let you know guys that I 
put some more sugar, which is a half spoon. So in all, it's one tablespoon of sugar I put because to me, it didn't have enough taste. All right, so I add some more sugar. Again, this is optional. And everything that I use is according to your taste. Always remember to taste your food as you proceed. All right, stay tuned. So this is it. Pumpkin and beef with dried shrimps, all right? And a little pepper sauce to the side. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever I post, you will be notified. Like and share. Invite a friend. Thank you. Be safe. Alright. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.